Welcome back to Movie Recap. Today I'm gonna show you a 2015 body horror film called, Bite. Spoilers ahead. Seat back, relax and enjoy. The film begins at Casey, the bride-to-be, is on a bachelorette getaway together with her friends. Jill is the one recording their travel, while Kristen enjoys the drinks and place. Casey sees a kind of a bug in their bathroom hotel, but they continue with having fun at bars, where the three flirts with guys. Jill and Kristen comfort the bride-to-be as she gets cold feet. A guy they met at the bar tells them about a picturesque view. Jill flirts with the guy to get to the destination he is describing. They enter the island with a map of a beautiful water formation. They get lost inside it due to the alcohol in their system. They find clean water. Jill and Casey enter while Kristen captures the marble-like figures. The two discuss Casey's fiancé Jared. Casey feels a bite in the water as they discuss their relationship. Jill mocks her and claims she's been bitten, then vanishes into the ocean. Kristen tells Casey to get out of the water, but Jill teases them. Casey is carrying her luggage to the apartment entrance when Jared surprises her. They discuss Casey's bachelorette party before Jared reveals his surprise. Jared urges Casey to close her eyes and leads her inside. Casey is speechless when she sees a high chair because it is not a surprise she expected. Jared tells her it's a family heirloom for when they're ready to have a baby. Chuck's phone call interrupts their talk. Casey is alone in the room, staring at the high chair and her tan line on her left finger, her ring gone. Casey sees a photograph of her with Jill, Kristen, and the guy she flirted with at their getaway while fixing her baggage. Casey also sees the camera that they used and connects it to her laptop. Casey fills the bathtub and goes to the mirror to check herself. She sees spots on her shoulders, neck, and arms but dismisses them in showers. Scrubbing herself, Casey sees the bit mark she got at the getaway. Pain emerges through her when she pinches it, but she dismisses it again. Casey talks to Kristen as she gets out of the shower. The two talk about Jared being a workaholic, the ring, and the guy Casey flirted with. Casey goes to wash her clothes but runs out of detergent. She goes to her mother-in-law's requests for detergent. Mrs. Kennedy is angry to see her and attacks her about her son, marriage, and children. Mrs. Kennedy dislikes Casey despite her best efforts. Casey opens her laptop to see the recorded video of her bachelorette party. Her smile is evident on her face. But it vanishes when she sees the footage of her flirting with a guy. Seeing that, Casey shuts down her laptop. Casey knocks on Mr. Mathenson's apartment, and a dog greets her. Casey plays with him, and Mr. Matt Henson is happy to see her. Mr. Matt Henson asks her about her bachelorette party. The two talk about it for a while before Casey walks the dog. Casey and the dog walk outside in the cold weather. Casey's face is expressionless, but it is evident that her mind is wandering somewhere else. Casey cries as she tells Kristen how she is not ready to commit to married life and that she has to postpone the wedding because of it. Kristen talks to her, trying to calm her down, but Casey drops the call, hugs her knees, and cries. Casey overhears an argument between Jared and his mother concerning her. Mrs. Kennedy tries to persuade her son not to marry Casey, but Jared defends her. Casey just sits back and listens to the conversation until she hears Jared's footsteps. Jared's knock startles her. Casey tells him how late he is but lets him in as the dinner is getting cold. While Jared eats, he worries about Casey's face and actions. She tries to explain that she became sick on the trip, but the clattering of cutlery and Jared's chewing are too loud. She informs Jared she's soaking her ring. Jared stops eating when Casey says they need to talk. Everything sounds loud, making her feel sick. A sticky stickiness in Casey's mouth causes her to puke. She emerges shortly after, requesting Jared's attention. Jared, noting her state, brings her in. Casey invites him to remain, but Jared refuses, citing his mother's opinion. In response, Casey claims his mother despises her. Then Casey seduces Jared, and they coitus. Jared holds Casey's thighs and pops out the bitten area, stopping them. Casey flees the room, leaving Jared puzzled. Casey cleans her thigh in the bathroom while Jared dresses. Casey lies again, saying everything is good and she had a bug bite while on vacation. Jared says it's infected, but she assures him she has a cream. Jared storms out, enraged that Casey didn't say goodbye. Casey snoozes in the bathtub, a problem. The morning after, Casey's phone drops on the bathroom floor, waking her. She gasps as she falls asleep in the water, her face covered in sticky goo. 
Casey confusingly washes her face with hot water when a knock on the door interrupts her. As soon as she answers the door, Jill questions her. Jill asks if she told him she wasn't ready to commit, and Casey says she couldn't, crying and scared. Jill comforts her, but unwittingly injures Casey's insect bite. Casey tells her about it and how things have changed since they returned. Jill shows Casey her skin patches, gives her cream, and departs for work. It is after her bachelorette celebration that Casey's things are stolen. She wakes up naked on the beach, her belongings gone. Jill captures it. Yellow sticky gunk pours out of Casey's mouth after the video stops. Mr. Matt Henson lets Casey walk his dog. Mr. Matt Henson notices her pale face and advises her. Casey calls the dog, but he stays still. Mr. Matt Henson and Casey call him again before he whimpers. Mr. Matt Henson suggests she walk the dog tomorrow morning as he is unaware of the situation. Casey meets Kristen. So Kristen asks her if she's sure about postponing the wedding and attempts to persuade Casey to reconsider. Casey then asks Kristen if she's been sick since they returned. Jill says yes and tells Casey about her appearance. Casey tells her she can't eat or digest anything, and Jill jokes she's pregnant, but Casey assures her she can't be. Casey pees on the pregnancy test and awaits the result. Casey shuffles and then stares in the mirror at her stomach. Casey then notices a bite on her thigh, a few in total. She pops each one, letting the yellow sticky gunk ooze out. She rushes to the bathroom and tries to scrub them off of her, hurting herself, almost screaming and panicking. Then, Casey sees the pregnancy test, slowly grabs it to see it is positive. Casey calls a clinic and tells about the bite she got from her trip. She describes it to the guy on the phone. The guy advises her to get a steroid to kill the infection and consult her physician for further examination. Casey then tells the guy that she is pregnant. Casey goes into her apartment, straight to the bathroom, and puts cream on the bite, but then she gags on something and vomits the yellow sticky goo again. She calls the clinic again, asking to speak to a doctor, but it goes straight to voicemail. She hears a hushed voice and rushes out of her room, only to be surprised by her fiancé, friends, and family. A fish egg-like figure emerges from her, squeaking. They scream babies, but now on the eggs. Casey tries, but fails to stop them by gathering and holding the eggs. Casey yells, but it was a dream. Casey wakes up in the bathtub, her face covered in slime, red blotches, and algae-colored water. She shakily exits the restroom and enters her room, only to find her bed filled with eggs. When Mrs. Kennedy knocks on Casey's door, she finds her living room filled with eggs. Mrs. Kennedy continues to pound on Casey's door until Casey notices her body, almost covered in bite marks. Mrs. Kennedy entered with her keys, a foul odor greeting her. In the room, she sees the pregnancy kit and steps onto the eggs. Mrs. Kennedy is startled when Casey tells her she shouldn't be there. Mrs. Kennedy belittles her pregnancy and the space. Mrs. Kennedy teases Casey, and Casey loses control. Her acid vomit melts her face and kills her. Casey, now back on herself, realizes what she did and panics again, but then she sees the bigger eggs and holds one of them. She then drags Mrs. Kennedy's body and puts it in the bathtub. Casey looks at herself in the mirror, her head ticking uncontrollably, and screams, breaking the glass. When Jared dials Casey's phone, it rings. Jared leaves a note saying he hasn't seen her in days despite being close by. Jared then goes to Casey's place, but Casey refuses to let him in. Casey's dwelling has changed dramatically, she now guards the entrance. Casey tells Jared she isn't ready for the wedding and asks for space. Casey's hair starts to fall out as Jared tries to open the door with his keys. Casey yells at Jared to leave, and he does. Jared pours himself a drink back in his apartment but tosses the glass because of frustration and anger. Kristen goes to Jill's to see if Jill has any news on Casey, but she gets no response. Kristen worries to Jill that they haven't seen Casey in a week. Just maybe Casey is thinking about her engagement to Jared, Jill suggests. Because of the trip, Jill and Kristen fight. Kristen tells Jill about Casey's flat's foul smell and she last visited her, suspecting Casey had killed herself. Jill insults Kristen by claiming Casey will never do it due to a lack of strength. Jill then shuts the door on Kristen. Jill goes back to watching TV and drinking wine and put S. Casey's ring on her finger. Casey is lost in her own world, eggs coming out of her mouth, eats her fingernail. She then eats an insect before she hears Kristen's car in the parking lot from her apartment. Kristen successfully enters Casey's flat using a card. She notices the change, eggs all over the apartment. Kristen looks around and calls Casey, but Casey stops her at the restroom door. 
Kristen tells Kristen to leave, but Casey refuses. Then Kristen panics and crawls to the toilet, where she finds Mrs. Kennedy's rotting body. Just as Kristen gets her phone out of the bathtub, Casey breaks the door, scaring Kristen. Casey then puts her hand on Kristen's mouth, creating a blue goo, and gluing her face. Kristen tries to breathe, but fails, and Casey just hugs her, saying sorry repeatedly. Now in his restroom, Jared notices his pee is red, but ignores it. Jill texts him, asking him to meet her at his parking lot. Jill seduces Jared, while showing him a video of Casey flirting during the bachelorette party. Casey hears their moans as they cheat on her, causing her to scream loudly. Kristen and Jared pause, and both puke. Jill drives away, stunned. Then Jared returns to his flat, looking at a picture of him with Casey. On the other hand, Casey's residence makes Jill gag, but she wanders inside and finds Kristen hanging in Casey's room. She yells Casey's name, but Casey's at her back and bruises her. Jared sobs in front of the mirror over his relationships. Jill, however, wakes up and sees Casey. Jill tries to befriend Casey, but Casey reveals to Jill how she filmed everything, showing her betrayal. Casey tells Jill what she knows about her betrayal to get Jared. Casey tells Jill to keep calling for Jared until he hears it. Hearing his name, Jared exits and heads to Casey's. Jared enters and finds Jill trapped inside, trying to release her. But before they escape, Casey surprises Jared. Casey silences Jill's screams for rescue by slicing her throat. Jared tries to stop it but fails. Casey just sits back and assaults Jared, smiling. Once she has Jared's attention, she stabs him with her tail. Jared screams for more air. But when Casey attacks Jared again, he stops her and stabs her with a sharp wood. Jared gets out, holding his wounds. With his state, he gets back into his apartment, struggles to call 911, and fails. A week later, the police discovered it and inspected the flats. They see Jared's body behind the sticky web goo and tries to help but finds his body full of eggs. The movie ends with Hannah and Joanne jugging around a neighborhood, talking about a vacation when Joan gets bitten by one of the fertilized eggs. Hannah asks her if she is alright, and Joan responds by saying it is just a bite. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.